I met John about 20 years ago at a design show and fell in love with his work right away. He's a furniture maker who enjoys experimenting and doing something entirely new. Between nice texture, bold colors, and all the small details he adds, his furniture and woodwork is a lot of fun to see. John lives and works in Sutton, Quebec. One of the first pieces I remember seeing of his included turned and sculpted legs that were inspired by icicles. It wasn't until many years later, when I became editor of Canadian Woodworking Magazine, that I talked to him about how they were made. We eventually ran a cover story about them in our October-November 2010 issue. John also experiments with how different surfaces mate with one another. The doors and sides of this whiskey cabinet are great examples of something John stumbled upon. It takes a lot of skill to plan and execute, but the results are worth it. He's used this general approach to make a number of different pieces of furniture. I love the finish, not to mention surprising details like the modified bevel joint securing the case. John also makes what he calls shift vessels by steam bending strips of wood, machining them so both their edges are tapered, then assembling them, sometimes unevenly, he produces these whimsical art pieces. Texture, color, contrasting species of wood only make these vessels even more fun. Here are some other pieces John has made over the years. John makes a small batch production run from time to time. Mixing color and different wood species with unique designs leaves him with items to sell. His plus table is one of those items. It's made so it can easily be shipped and easily assembled, though it still includes a lot of style. John's 1,100 square foot shop is attached to his home. With lots of natural light and a loft, he's got a great space for making. John's a tool geek and is very well equipped with machinery, power tools, and hand tools. John prefers to work very accurately and his tooling choices reflect this. This trait also shows up in his final work. Much of the wood John uses is cut and dried on his property, and he usually has his trusty dog Paco by his side. 